pretty Ricky. That's right, baby. We hold it down for the Mayweather Live show. It's your boy Mayweather Live. We out here in the MIA. Yo, what's going down? The Mayweather Live show. Yo, I'm telling y'all, it's bumping in my city. The 850. All natural. All natural. I've been you see. All natural. The Mayweather Live. It's your boy Young. You tune into another episode of the Mayweather Live Show. I'm your host, Rashad Mayweather, and today we have a great show. It's about the things you may or may not find in the Bible. With me, I have Pastor Michaels. Yes, mm. you gotta be gentle on the mm. hand. We're gonna talk about Hold that on. later though. Hold on with the nuts. Yeah, you know, but I want to get straight into it with you because okay. today we're going to talk about some controversial topics, yes. but some real stuff. Yes. You, you, you're a real person, right? Yeah, I am. You, a real you're going to keep it all the way live. We're going to keep it right. All right. First question masturbation. What is that? I want to know is it, if I'm pleasing myself, now I'm not saying I do or don't do I this, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. But if I'm pleasing myself and I'm not messing with somebody else, I'm not having sex before marriage, is, is anything wrong with masturbation? Well, you know what? I, the Bible does not speak about masturbation. So that's that means it's point. cool. I'm straight. Well, it, not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. So you got to look into the Beatitudes. One of the Beatitudes, uh, you know, Jesus was talking about those who look upon a woman, but, don't, but you may not touch him, but you lust after him in your heart. You commit adultery. Okay? So just by looking at him. Yeah, so Jesus was taking, he said, you have heard that it was said that if you sleep with your, another man's wife or another man's husband, you commit adultery. But then Jesus took the Ten Commandments and broke it down, not to the letter of the law, but the spirit that was behind the law that you didn't get in the Old Testament. And he said, if you look upon a woman and you lust after her in your heart, you committed adultery. So what Jesus was saying was, there were things that could go on in your mind that can cause you to sin. So a lot of times when you're masturbating, there are fantasies and things that are going on in your mind that can draw so, you into sin. What if I'm just I, so basically no? If I'm what if I'm just it just happened to be I don't know how to put this. Please be careful. <clears throat> Anything I think, right? Point blank period. If I think something that has to do with a female and I'm not married, or or a female thinking about a male, right. that's a sin. Right? No, it's not. That, a that, thought, that's a, no, a thought. So, is so that's, what you, that's what I'm saying. You said the things you think. You know, so if, if I'm thinking these things, so it's not a sin to think about it. Okay, no, no. It's not a sin to think about it. Let me make sure I'm clear. He says if you look upon a woman and you lust after her in your heart, then you commit adultery. So what happens is the devil will tempt us with thoughts. You know, just because a thought comes across your mind doesn't mean it's a sin. It's when you grab hold of that thought and you So when you put it. something into action. So you can think all you want, but once you put something into action. No, not necessarily. Because what it is, is you can grab hold of a thought and take ownership of it. For instance, when the devil comes to you, he doesn't say, he doesn't, say, he doesn't come to you with horns on and say, Hey, I'm the devil. I'm going to give you this thought. No, he injects thoughts into your mind and tags I in front of them to make you think that it is your thought. That's spiritual warfare. So you may be walking by somebody in the mall and you may be thinking to yourself, I, you may hear a thought and say, I just want to knock him out. Okay. Okay. Now, the devil will whisper that he operates by suggestion. Okay. He deceived a third of the angels, if you check the Bible, by suggestion, by conniving them, by preaching to them, getting them to rebel against God. So the same way he got Eve, he suggested to her and she accepted those thoughts. So he'll come to you and put I in front of your thoughts. And if you go, yeah, I do want to knock him out. All of a sudden, now you've taken on that so thought. So now, now that's, that's the sin. That's where sin enters in. That's what, so okay. bringing it back to masturbation. When you masturbate, number one, God said it's not good that a man be alone. And some people think that you can masturbate because you're alone and you just want to take care of a natural need. See, God said it was good that man not be alone. So let's don't call it masturbation. Let's call it autosexuality. Because within the bounds of the Bible, if I'm married, and let's say my wife goes through an illness or sickness, and she's not able to take care of me physically, then within the bedroom, it's okay to have manual stimulation, 
okay, for me to use my digits or hers in order to have pleasure, which God so created. Then, so if, you, if you're married and it's understood between you and your spouse, then it's okay. Yes. That's the only way. Uh, yeah, now, but you can get into danger there. Let's say I go on a mission trip. I'm preaching in Africa. She's in America. And I'm hot as fire, y'all. <laughs> hey, I'm a young man. You hear okay. me out there in Africa? It's young. It gets warm out there. Them drums See, go to playing. You, you, you might want some. You're going you to have these people trying to find you. See? Uh, just make sure you don't put my email on this part of the segment. All right. I, you know, I'm, and I'm there, and all of a sudden, you know, I, I'm realizing that I have a sexual need. I need a release, you know, I, and, and, and I've been away from my wife for a long time. Self-control is my love is deep for her, and my body belongs to her, okay? So we have to have permission. That's what it breaks down to, we have my to body have, belongs to yes. her. Yes. Okay. In 1 Corinthians chapter 7, God deals with all that. He said a man should flee from sexual immorality and from those sins of uncleanness. So here's what happens in the spirit realm. When you begin to masturbate, your mind will automatically begin to fantasize because arousal is supposed to naturally come by you thinking about your lover. Okay? And so now you're by yourself. All of a sudden, you're taking a bath, and you begin to manually stimulate yourself, which is called autosexuality. And all of a sudden, you're taking care of a need that God only ordained for another person you're married to to take care of, or God himself. If you're not married, your body belongs to God. And God don't want you jacking off or beating the bush. You kept it pretty live where you ended that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next That's topic. Right. So there's a little confusion with this. Do you, an eye for an eye, right. two for a two for, right. do you turn the other cheek? Yeah. What do you do? Well, because one's in the New Testament, one's in the Old Testament. I, I'm, I'm confused, you know. Number one, you got to understand social systems. Okay, what, number one, it depends on what part of the world you live in. Because in iPhone 9, in Singapore, if you steal something, your hand gets cut off. You know, if you assault somebody, they can beat you. You know, here in America, is you know, hate speech could get you put in jail. So number one, you got to deal with the social system. And the Bible always says, honor the authorities that are above you. Some systems, self-defense is no problem. See, that's what I was about to ask you. I was going to say, but I thought the Bible is, period, across the board. Well, think Whatever about the Bible says, that's what it is across the board. Well, you know, you just have to you have to have, understand interpolation of Scripture, not interpretation. That means the proper weaving of Scripture. The Bible says it's a time for war. There's a time for, for joy. You know, there's a time to kill. You know, and so God gives us the Old Testament not to do away with. Jesus didn't come to do away with the Old Testament. He came to fulfill it. Okay, so now when you get into self-defense, look, okay, let's let's face it. If somebody comes in my house and messes with my little girl, I'm not going to sit by and go, oh, I really want to stop you. I really want to do something, but the Bible says that I'm not supposed to do that, so please stop it. No, God called me to be the protector of my house before he called me to be a mamsy pamsy Christian. So, you know, I'm like this. If it comes to me or you, I will knock you out, kill you, and then pray for you to be raised from the dead. That's real. Hey, it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and go to the next topic. He just getting in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's, like, that, that, let's go back. Let's go back. Break that down. The Bible says, this. Break that it down. says that God wants peace with all men. The peace on earth and goodwill towards all men. So you have to realize you have to do everything you can in your power to avoid violence. But there comes a point in, in life to where you may have to defend yourself. So, and I think God wants you to stay alive to do what you're called to do if you're defending yourself versus uh, be, you know, meekness doesn't mean weakness. Right. Meekness means strength under control. So, point blank period, don't go around looking for stuff. Yes. If somebody comes at you, if you can avoid it, avoid it. Right. By all means, Definitely. avoid it. Definitely. Do what you have to do. Run. You know, run, whatever you have to do. But if you, if you look, God will defend those people who get in trouble, but he's not going to defend those people who cause trouble. Hey, it's the Mayweather Live Show. We're about to go to yeah, the baby. break. I'm hoping you like You see, he all the way live. He kept it real from the beginning. But it's the Mayweather Live Show. Over the commercial break, visit www.mayweatherliveshow.com. Stay tuned, man. Watch these commercials. We'll be right back. Got to pay those bills, y'all. Pay them. 100,000 miles on the power train, five years unlimited miles of roadside assistance. City Hyundai, where it's always the right time and always the right place. Dr. Phil here. Here at City Hyundai, we have the best service and best selection. Phil Sr. At City Hyundai, we have the best warranty and best quality. Here at City Hyundai, we never miss a deal on price. 
ever. Ever. <laughs> <laughs>